Hey, what's up guys? John from Linkswell. And uh, we've got a lot of people asking about updating that Z-Link app. So I wanted to make a quick two minute how-to showing you how to update the Z-Link app on your T-Style radio using the web browser. It's a little easier uh, using the web browser than uh, USB. Well, not maybe not easier, but at least you don't have to go to your computer and then uh, the radio. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you got your radio connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, so uh, you're gonna go into settings and then from settings you're going to hit system and then from system you'll hit uh, network and so once you're in network you'll be able to line up all the different uh, wi-fi sources available so if you're going to be using your phone make sure that uh, if you've got an apple that you're in that personal hotspot page and lets it open up otherwise uh, the radio is not going to see it because apple has locked it and won't let it see it but once you've got it connected go ahead and select your source put in the passcode whatever the passcode happens to be you get it connected up on top you should have a little uh, icon looks like a little wi-fi symbol should show you how strong uh, your wi-fi is uh, we're rocking one bar so we're going to hope this actually works all the way out here in our bay um, but once you've got it connected to wi-fi uh, you can go ahead and go to phone link and you'll be able to check down here on the bottom right corner is actually going to be your very your version number uh, this radio actually has a really old version uh, this one's got 4.0.10 at the time of making this video the most recent one is 4.0.26 now this video will work for all the ones that come after this but I do want to make one now because uh, we've got a lot of echo issues and the uh, 0.26 is supposed to fix a lot of those echo issues so that's our version. We're connected to Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Chrome on our radio. And then from here, open up the search tab and you're gonna go to our website, which is linkswellinc.com. Go ahead and hit search. And you can see that as long as it's got a good enough Wi-Fi, it's gonna get us there. It's struggling. And there we go. So now once we're on our website, you're gonna hit this little uh, three bar thing up in the top right corner. And then on the far right, you can see where it says support. You wanna hit that drop down arrow. And then where you see T-Style apps, select T-Style apps. And that's gonna get us into the page where we've got a bunch of different apps. Just another little shout out to you guys. Uh, we've got like Netflix is on here. Uh, some of our emulator apps boot logo app, auto kit, uh, DVR app. So if you ever lose any of those apps, they're right here and you'll be able to install them the exact same way that we're gonna install the Z-Link. Same process, you'll just obviously install that APK instead of the Z-Link APK. Uh, but here we go. So make sure you wanna hit Z-Link with Tesla Gen 4 only. If you hit the IQ one, you, and you install it. When you try to open it, it's gonna tell you that it's not licensed. It's because it's a different version uh, set up just for the IQ. So, Go ahead and hit that hyperlink for the Tesla Gen 4. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna kick us into Dropbox. Now here's where we get uh, a lot of uh, people get lost. You just wanna make sure that you uh, are not trying to download the Dropbox app because it's gonna ask if you want to. And uh, if my Wi-Fi was a little stronger, this would be a little faster, uh, but it is coming, I promise. Uh, but it's gonna go in and it's gonna ask if you wanna continue the website or if you wanna download the app. And so go ahead and hit, um, hit continue to a website and then it should pull up to where it's gonna let you say, uh, could not preview file. That's exactly what you wanna see. You don't care to preview the file. You're gonna wanna hit right there where it says download. It's gonna say it's downloading. Click it into downloads. Yep, we know it might be. We're still gonna download it. Um, and we are not gonna sign up for this because it's not what we wanna do. And now it should be downloading. And now what we're gonna do to find the app is go to File Manager. And then in File Manager, we should be able to find Downloads. And then in Downloads, you can see there's our Z-Link uh, version 4.0.26. We'll go ahead and tap that and it's gonna pop up. It's gonna ask if we wanna install. We're gonna say yes, we wanna install. And then it's gonna go ahead and install our new version of Z-Link. App is done. We can hit done or we can hit open and it's gonna go ahead and pop open uh, our Z-Link. Yes, we wanna allow it. Go ahead and home. Oop, wrong way, here we go, phone link. And now you can see bottom right corner, we are now running 4.0.26. And that 
is how you will update Z-Link using the web browser on the radio, a little quicker, a little faster. You can do the same thing if you're gonna go into like APK Peer or some of the other app, mirror, uh, the APK mirroring apps other than the Google Play Store. So like if you're trying to find an older version of like Hulu that will run, you can go ahead and switch uh, and do the exact install exactly the same way. It's gonna be a little different because it's not gonna send you into a Dropbox, but it's gonna send you to their uh, their uh, hub where all the APKs are. But once you install it and it goes into that download folder, you go into that download, tap that APK, it'll pop up if you want to in hit install, hit yes, it should go in, you should be rocking and rolling. Anything you install outside of the system apps will be uh, cataloged there under app list. Or if you're running Nova Launcher, you'll know it pops up like the rest of the apps on that home page, and you can get to it from there. But that is how you will update your Z-Link using the web browser on the Link's Well. Hope that's helpful. Keep an eye out for some more two-minute how-tos, and uh, keep enjoying them Link's Wells, yo.